my goal in this is a, is a few things. Is one, to get everybody on the same page, really get some extended work where we're not worried about the clock, where we're really challenging each other and introducing some new things. On the top, Mike. Good, see it, see it, get around. Good, 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 there you go. Good, and one, come on, come on. Good, come on, take the ball. One of our non-negotiables is transition defense. Y'all playing at the rim this year, huh? Just got off the plane, seven hours, slept for about one. It's 1 a.m. back home, it's eight o'clock here. Have to stay up so our body can get used to this time zone and I don't know how I'm gonna do it. So once we got to the hotel, after we got back from the airport today, I went, walked around Amsterdam a little bit, checked out some sites, went to a few stores, took a little nap, uh, pretty tired. But I uh, just walked around with some teammates and just checked the place out a little bit. So to be able to just see that, talk to the team about just how many, how many dreams were made at, on that track, in that setting, it was the first place that lit the Olympic torch. There was some pretty special things to point out and just to be in that setting really on our first day there was, I thought, special. It was a great way to start the trip. Freshmen came out and you know they weren't teaming at all. Uh, they were really aggressive and you know a lot of those guys, Justin, Mike, uh, and Evan, you know, all really stepped up big and you know helped contribute quite a bit. Definitely, it was really exciting just to be able to see like, how to play under Coach Bennett and play with everyone on the team. I was really excited to play.
we were very complete and solid in that first game. And I think it almost came too easy because it was a great lesson. We played the same team in less than 24 hours. And though we thought, okay, if we show up and we work at it, we'll be okay. Uh, that was a team that had their pride wounded. They were older men. We couldn't match their, it seems like their intensity or their, uh, this, their ability to, to do what they wanted. They imposed their will on us. We didn't do much. We got stretched and too many breakdowns. Some of that's inexperience, but some of that's just a lack of being tough-minded enough in a setting where we thought it was gonna come a little easier because of yesterday's game. We have a ways to go, uh, we really do. And for us to um, go against these teams, they're not very good defensively, but they're all very good offensively in terms of they really make you pay. If their ability to stretch the floor and shoot the three exploits our sometimes unawareness or lack of urgency. We'll play two more, from what I understand, good teams, and that's what I wanted. I, I wanted to try to find a decent competition. If it means getting our butts kicked and learning from it, then so be it. That's what we've got to do. From Notre Dame to the, to the Louvre to uh, the famous statues, it, you can't believe how big it is. I really loved it. I, I've been to Rome, I've been to different places, but that was impressive, and I think how grandiose it is and uh, the size of it. Today, the younger guys got to start mixing it up with some of the upperclassmen, and I felt like I just needed to get in and do what I do best, and that's bring energy and bring effort on the offense and defensive end. Akil did some real nice things. He was real active. Uh, that's the most active I've seen him, and I was happy to see that because I think that's important. That's when he had some success for us the end of last year when he was real active on the offensive glass and the defensive glass. I thought Paul did a nice job for us. He was real crafty with his passes and had good feel, so that was good to see. I think we can take a lot of things, especially um, getting experience for everybody, because we're going to need everybody this season to play you know, significant minutes. My daughter telling me, the guys are stuck in the elevator. She was very concerned. And she was, I think, taking water bottles and handing them through the, uh, the little opening. I think it said the maximum capacity was 13 people. And they had 12, but they have to understand that probably a European elevator is a little different, and they're not 13 normal people. There are 12 of them is probably a, the equivalent of about, I don't know, maybe 15 normal people. So I think they learned their lesson, and we talked about team bonding and uh, being close. I think that's about as close as you can get for, for an hour in, in that tight of a spot. Yo, you were scared, yo. You were scared. You were scared. We got stuck because we were going up and it was almost a one that just started to drop and it was twice dropped and we were sitting at stuff. And then it started getting super hot. It was like, I don't know. Really cool. All right, guys.